All right, welcome to another episode of the Palmetto Guardian. We are once again out in the field during the best warrior competition, once again attached to my truck, but this time we should have video along with the uh, the podcast. Um, I'm Specialist Erskine, and as always, I'm joined by... Sergeant Chelsea Baker. Sergeant Chelsea Baker, that's right. And we have a super awesome guest, or two guests with us here. Um, we know we're not getting to see all their faces and stuff because, you know, we're working in field conditions. It's not always pretty and exact and right on, but <laughs> we actually have... Uh, two of our German military brethren that actually come down here and uh, have been a part of the Best Warrior competition, as well as the German Armed Forces Proficiency, ba- proficiency Badge. <laughs> yeah, I have problems too. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Um, so if you wouldn't mind, just uh, introduce yourself and uh, tell us you know, where you're from and, and, and your rank and stuff, what unit you represent. Yeah, hello, my name is Master Sergeant Mike Nutkemper. I'm with the German Armed Forces Command, United States and Canada uh, in Western Virginia. Hey, my name is uh, Sergeant Walter Torsten, and I'm with the German Armed Force Command in uh, Western Virginia, too. Okay. Um, quick note here, uh, Sergeant Walton, uh, is that correct? I yeah. got it correct? Good. Uh, you've actually been a competitor in the Best Warrior Competition and came back this year as a sponsor for it. Is that correct? Yes, sir. That's correct. And how was that experience for you? Uh, it was a really unique experience for me because, um, I mean, as a German soldier, you never get the experience with, like, uh, actually hands-on um American training, what is like that that important for you guys? Um, I know that the best warrior competition is one of the most important competitions you have, and a lot of the soldiers all train a lot for that. So it was really an amazing um, experience for me to be part of that and actually um, get friendships together and like stay in contact with those people even after the best warrior competition and learn so much from you guys. Yeah. Um, actually, I was talking to Command Sergeant Major uh, Vickery the other day, and I was telling him, you know, this this uh, relationship that we've built with the German uh, military over the years is really interesting because for my career and where I've been, I would have never had the opportunity to work with you guys uh, had it not been for something like this. Um, sir, could you tell us a little bit about kind of how that relationship started and, and why the uh, German Armed Forces proficiency badge was was brought down here and how y'all help help us out with that yeah uh, of course um, so a couple of years ago we started uh, with small events with South Carolina uh, we came down for the tech match every year with a with a small group and participated in that one and uh, over the years we started doing GAFBs uh, once a year and um, a couple of years ago uh, there was the idea integrating the German Armed Forces proficiency badge into the best warrior competition so the soldiers um, who participating in that had the chance to get uh, uh, the badge and as well experience some uh, some different training and uh, yeah see how we Germans do some of those things. And, and I tell you what, and you, you can vouch for this. We've we've noticed because we've we've been two years with this, the swimming part of the the German art. That thing's that thing's tough. Like for people <laughs> who don't like, they think, oh, we're just going to take a quick. That's a tough part of the competition. Not to say any part of the, the German Armed Forces proficiency badge is easy, but, man, that really sneaks up on our soldiers and stuff. And that, that's super awesome that y'all have taken the time to come over here and, and implement that and then allow us, allow us to train on that type of things. Um, this is kind of a broad question. Either one of y'all can jump on this. But, you know, this type of training and integration between our military forces, what does that kind of mean, especially at a soldier-to-soldier level? You know, a lot of this stuff does happen, you know, way above our in particular pay grades. But to have this kind of soldier-soldier interaction between the two, two militaries is. What's y'all's thoughts on that? Yeah, I think, um, like like you know how it is in the military. So soldiers always look out. Oh, what are the other ones doing, and uh, how we do our things and compare it with each, with, with each other. <laughs> yeah. So and um, yeah, we get a lot of good feedback and say, wow, this is pretty interesting. And you do this every year, and um, they are kind of. Uh, say that's that's a tough thing some of the things you do but on the other hand we see how you guys do things see your PT test um, and see how you do things here and it's uh, really great to compare them and be part of it you got a question for him Sergeant Baker? You got I'm kind of curious if um, you guys are you or any of the other German soldiers who are competing currently or our sponsors are going to be at regionals since we're hosting it this year yeah um, actually um, the planning just started a couple of weeks ago so um, we are going to be back for the regional best warrior competition, um, and the first time this year uh, we're gonna 
change it a little bit uh, as well as they're going to do the German Armed Forces proficiency badge again and they also get the chance to do the German marksmanship. The shoot is near, correct? Right. Did, I, correct. did I pronounce yeah. it correct? Yeah, yeah you're good. That's what I was, 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 was talking about. <laughs> now, that's super awesome because not everybody gets a shot at that in their lifetime. So, you know, just more more going into this relationship and, and, and why it's benefiting kind of both sides. Um, well, you know what? I appreciate y'all stopping by. I've huffed enough diesel fumes off of my truck at this point in time. <laughs> yeah. Starting to get a little lightheaded. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you for taking the time out of y'all's schedules during the event to stop by and talk to us. Hopefully, maybe at regionals, we'll get to hook up again and do this again. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. We will be here with a bunch of people again. And I just want to mention before we hop off here, um, it's a really great opportunity. And everyone uh, has a good time. People like to come down here, coming especially to South Carolina. Um, it's kind of like a family here, and everyone really has a good time and loves to come back. Good deal. Thank you all once again for stopping by. Uh, that's going to do us for this episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, uh, follow us on YouTube and iTunes, and we'll catch you in the next episode.